Okay, here is the uh, Trek Checkpoint ALR-5 getting ready for a cross-state ride and I was just going to show you my setup and how I get packed. On the back here I have two Axiom bags mounted to an Axiom rack and uh, these are very handy. They've got real easy connectors on the top here. And the rack mounts very nice to the frame and on the back of the frame right here. There are big pouches on each side and then a small pouch on the back. One of these will be for first aid type stuff, the other one for my tools and supplies. Up front here we've got a Bontrager a mid-size, a middle-size frame bag and then a top bag, a uh, lunch bag or whatever you want to call it. Up top here I have a mount for my Insta360 X3 camera as, long as, as well as my uh, Garmin and then a spot for my uh, Knight Rider front light. So I'll have uh, two water bottles and a cup, some more fluid in my bags as well. I wanted to get you a better look of the rack that I'm mounting on and the bag has a small velcro with a hook on the bottom. That hook connects right in there and then these top pieces snap right in the top, top of the rack right there. Very handy. Also I've mounted a couple of tail light mounts. One is for uh, um, Garmin radar and the other one was for a Bond Traeger uh, tail light. I'll have both of those lighting up for safety. Okay, over here on the floor I've got most of my stuff laid out. You'll see my uh, Big Agnes uh, Copper Spur HVUL2 tent there and then my Disco Nemo sleeping bag. Probably a little overkill for this trip. Big Agnes Q Core sleeping pad. <clears throat> There's some nine mile meals, uh, freeze dried food, some Quest bars, and I'll have some additional snacks as well. Small bundle of uh, clothes, including underwear changes. And then we got water filtration, sunscreen, earplugs, some straps to tie on my uh, sleeping bag and tent on the top. You'll see that in a minute. We've got a uh, air pump, a little uh, air pillow, small first aid kit, and then some few minor, my, uh, minor medications, a couple of microfiber towels, emergency blanket, uh, some TP rolled up tight there in the Ziploc bag, titanium spork. Uh, we've got some gloves. This is the toolkit area over here with uh, tool repair kits, CO2, some Allen wrenches, some duct tape, paracord, zip ties, a spare tube, some baling wire, a um, stove there to heat up water real quick for the freeze-dried meals, and then a little toiletry kit. So my right side bag is uh, basically my food and meal preparation bag. Put all of my, uh, I'll have six freeze-dried meals for this trip. Put those all in there. I kind of go with a low-carb lifestyle, so that's why I've got the next mile meals. Uh, they tend to be low-carb. Uh, Ultima sugar-free electrolyte mix, and then these Quest, Quest bars are pretty low-carb as well. And since it has to do with meal preparation, I'll put my jet boil in here with the gas canister inside. I got a fresh canister that should last my full trip. Okay, this left side is going to be my clothing, etc. side. Now also in here, I just want to show you, this is a little pocket. It's a flat pocket, so you can put flat things in there. I've actually printed out my whole route uh, on paper 
and uh, that way I don't have to 100% rely on GPS or cell phone because I will have some areas where there will be no coverage. So clothing will be going in here. So I've got uh, shorts, a shirt, and uh, underwear. And every night I plan on having a place where I can either swim or shower just to get refreshed. So I've got a swimsuit there as well. Okay, just a brief uh, overview of the frame bag here. Like I said, it's a medium-sized Bontrager frame bag. And it's kind of my uh, device area. So I'll have a couple of uh, power packs, uh, extra tail light. I've got this uh, 20,000 uh, milliamp charger. The solar thing is kind of a joke, but it's all charged up. Um, and then we'll have uh, cords. And uh, there's the Insta X3 camera. And um, we'll have a couple of other cord type devices for charging along our way. Also tucked up in there is this pump. It's got some Velcro straps so it holds it in there really nicely. Also going into this pocket are my microfiber towels and my air pillow. Also my ground cloth for my tent. That's the Tyvek. Puts that in there nice and tidy. I'm also going to be putting my drone in here too. I think there'll be room for that and then I'll have my uh, flip-flops for evening or after ride use on the top there. Okay, finally in this will be my uh, sleeping air pad. It's a Big Agnes uh, insulated Q-Core. I don't really need the insulation on this trip, but the air works well for sleeping. Okay, just briefly, this is the uh, lunch bag or top Top rail bag, small one. I'll have a pepper spray. Uh, might help with dogs, who knows, if I can get to it quick enough. I'll also have a little slot here for a little cash and my card. And uh, then I'll put snacks in here like bags of uh, nuts or Catalina Crunch, maybe some jerky, that sort of thing. Handy bag while I'm riding. Okay, this left rear bag will be tools, so I got a spare tube. I to do this with one hand. Uh, some tire sealant for tubeless. I've got a couple of CO2 cartridges and the inflator head. And I've got some plugs for the tubeless tire. I've got two of my most common Allen wrench sizes there. A uh, small bag with some miscellaneous uh, nuts and screws and rubber bands. And a little adapter for the uh, tire valve if I need to pump up where there's not a proper valve size. This is the uh, tool for tire repair and a nice stretch of paracord comes in real handy maybe a clothesline at the campsite or a multitude of other possible uses there and I've got a little roll of duct tape and a lighter a little bit of uh, baling wire one of those universal repair items. A few rubber bands. Running out of space. <laughs> Tube repair kit. Uh, the ever important Leatherman. 
kind of heavy, but it's uh, has a lot of usefulness for its weight. And I've got a couple of um, rubber gloves and then uh, zip ties. Been on trips with friends. Last year we were on a uh, cross state ride and uh, these saved our bacon on uh, North Cascades Pass. You can watch that video in my uh, collection if you'd like. That's it for tools. Okay, this right side will be more of the uh, first aid side. I've got some tape, bandages, uh, gloves, safety pins, a little neosporin in this uh, little kit here. And we'll put in our uh, water filtration here. We need the pads for this. The Sawyer bag and the filter. I've got a little bug spray, some uh, TP, and the uh, sunscreen, so it's nice and handy because I'll be needing that frequently. It's about it that's going to fit in there. I'll have to put my little uh, toiletry bag in a different compartment. Okay, and on the food side, I'm going to put my uh, emergency foil blanket earplugs, my uh, toiletry bag with shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste, and soap, and then my sport goes in there. That makes sense, right? <laughs> all right, I think we're mostly all packed up. I'm gonna strap the uh, tent and sleeping bag on the back, and uh, we'll have to fit the drone in here. We'll wrap it with some padding. And then I think we're about ready to go.